What's up everybody, it's Rob here from the Basement Bike Shop and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a Shadow Conspiracy Sano V2 Detangler. Now this detangler by far is one of the smoothest that I've ever used because of the sealed bearing system. Um, and it installs very similar to any other detangler out here. The major differences are that your upper cable can be cut and custom fitted as it has set screws on the top for that purpose or you can run just the regular cable the second thing is that it is wider than any other detangler out there as you can see compared to my kink myriad detangler it's it's a little bit wider which means that you have to use the upper plate that comes with the shadow conspiracy detangler also some things you're gonna need a upper gyro cable now there are a couple different companies that make this gyro cable and a lower gyro cable. Now a lot of times the upper cable comes in different sizes depending on how tall your handlebars are. The lower one is custom cut to fit. Now if you take your upper cable out, you'll see that it has one end that goes into the lever and then two ends that go into the upper gyro plate. And then a couple different barrel adjusters depending on what size you need for your gyro plate. And the lower cable, which has the two ends that come out of your gyro tabs on your frame. And then the different barrels for the different size. And then a long cable off of that that can be custom cut. So let's get started. We're going to throw our bike in our stand and cut the old cable off. If you haven't installed brakes on your bike yet, you can check out my U-brake installation video. There'll be a link on the screen now or a link in the description. To remove the cable from the lever, we just line up the slots in the barrel and slide the cable right out. Next we're going to remove our straddle cable because in this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom one in case you need to. Otherwise realistically you could have left it on. So the first thing we're going to do is install our gyro tabs. These usually come from the company that manufactures your frame. If they didn't come with your frame, usually you can purchase them in a, like a brake mount kit. A lot of them are universal, but I'm not sure about every frame. Now, if you're installing this on a bike that does not have gyro tabs and has headset cups, you can check out my video on how to install a gyro without gyro tabs. There'll be a link on the screen now, or there'll be a link in the description. Next, we're going to remove our stem by loosening the side bolt first, depending on what kind of stem you have, and then loosen and remove the top bolt that goes into your fork. We'll give the bars a little twist, remove the stem, and then install our detangler. Now with this one, because we have a top plate, we also have to remove one of the spacers and put the top plate in. Now make sure that you have enough room the detangler before you go any further 
Sometimes you need to get a longer fork, add more spacers. And then we'll install our stem again. We'll snug up the top bolt first, making sure that our upper gyro plate is lined up square with the fork and the handlebars. And then once that's good to go, we'll tighten our stem down to the fork. After that, we're going to flip the bike upside down and install the lower cable. We'll start off by screwing the adjustable barrels into the lower gyro tabs. I like to screw them in just so the thread is flush with the bottom, which is actually the top when we flip the bike upside down again. But just to allow maximum amount of detangler travel without hitting those, um, those barrels. The next thing we're going to do is custom measure and cut our lower cable. We're going to put the housing on, line it up about where we want it, mark it with our finger, and then remove the housing from the inner cable. It's very important. You don't want to cut the inner cable. Cut it to length, and then reinstall it. Punch the cable through, wiggle it back and forth just so it's a little wider on the end, doesn't catch. Install the ferrule, and then slide the cable through. Now this video is from when I installed my Kink Myriad detangler. Actually, I'm using the same cable, but it's cut too short. So what I'm going to show you is how to just install your strato cable triangle up a little further, as long as you have enough pulling distance there yet between that frame barrel and the strato cable triangle holder and then I'm going to custom make a straddle cable to reach this distance and on a lot of brake installs you might have to custom make your straddle cable so we're going to use some sort of brake stop we're just going to use an Odyssey NARP I think all around it works good So I'm going to put one end in the brake. Run it through. And then bring it to the other side. Now I'm going to squeeze the pads against the rim. And put the NARP to just where I can get it inside the brake and get it back out again. So just to that edge. And then I'm going to tighten it down right there. Now most of the time if you buy aftermarket brakes that require you to make your own straddle cable in this sense, they'll either come with the cable stop or NARP or one side of the brake will actually you'll clamp down right to the brake arm. We'll go ahead and cut off the excess.
push the pads against the rim and install it into our arm. And that's how you make a custom straddle cable. Now we'll install the upper cable. We'll start by feeding the lever end in first. Line up the barrels just like we did when we removed it. Now as you can see one of these is longer than the other. Your shorter side will go to the side of the gyro plate closest to the lever and the longer side further away. And so when we thread these barrels in, again, I want to allow maximum amount of travel for my detangler. So I just put it so that the threads are flush with the bottom side. We can always micro adjust it at the end. So if you wanted this cable to be shorter or just you didn't want to turn all the barrels out so far in your adjusting that we're about to do, this is where you could cut the gyro ends off and use the set screws on the side to clamp down the cable. I do have enough room to adjust all the slack out so I won't need to do that. Next we're going to remove all the slack out of the top cable by pulling the detangler all the way down and make sure it's all the way down, squeeze the lever until it hits tight. And then I'm going to turn out these two barrels until I see the lever come all the way back. Once I get it where I like it, I'll screw the jam nut back and tighten it down. Another thing that most people have to check, if you squeeze your brakes and your detangler does not return all the way to the bottom, you may need to tighten the springs up on your brake. Because you have all those splitters in the detangler cables, it sometimes causes a little more friction and you need just a little more spring tension. So like I explained in my U-brake installation video, you're just going to loosen the top bolt, use the wrench to put a little more tension on the spring, and then tighten it back down. Now that should return a lot better. Next in the video I would cover adjusting the cables which I already went over pretty extensively in my kink myriad install video so you can click on that link if you need to know more about that there'll be a link on the screen now or a link in the description I also have a video on how to run dual cables for a detangler that's two cables coming out of your lever all the way to your detangler and two cables that go all the way back to your brakes so there's no splitters. If you want to learn more about that there'll be a link on the screen now or you can click on the link in the description. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing hit that subscribe button. I'll keep these videos coming. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos you can comment below or you can send me an email. Thanks again.